In our previous lecture, we have calculated the quantity of steel for a one-way slab. Today, we are going to calculate the steel quantity for a two-way slab. Before starting this procedure, we must know how to identify a two-way slab. If the ratio of longer span to the shorter span of a slab is less than 2, the slab is considered as a two-way slab. As I already told you, that a one-way slab is supported on beams on two opposite sides and the loads are carried along the shorter span. In case of two-way slab, the supports are provided along all the dimensions since the loads are carried along both the directions. I am going to show you this method by illustrating it with the help of an example. And at the end of this lecture, I will show you how to prepare the table for BBS of a two-way slab. So before starting this procedure, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and smash that bell icon to remain updated. Suppose we need to calculate the quantity of steel for a slab of length 4 meter and width 3 meter. It should be noted that the spans are to be considered by excluding the width of beam from all the sides. LX is the longer span and LY the short span. So we have the given data as the length of slab is taken as 4 meter that is 4000 mm. The width is taken as 3 meter. The slab is provided with main bars of size 12 mm which are spaced at 150 mm center to center. We have also provided distribution bars of size 8 mm which are spaced at 150 mm center to center. The clear cover is taken as 25 mm at top and bottom. The thickness of slab is taken as 150 mm and the development length will be equal to 40 d. The ratio of LX upon LY for this slab will be equal to 4000 upon 3000 which will be equal to 1.3 which is less than 2 which clearly indicates that this slab is a two-way slab and we need to follow the procedure accordingly. First of all we need to calculate the number of bars required. For that we have the formula number of bars equal to length of slab upon spacing plus 1. So the number of main bars will be equal to LX upon spacing plus 1. LX is 4000 mm and spacing 150 mm. So after substituting these values, we will get the number of main bars required equal to 28. And number of distribution bars will be equal to LY upon spacing plus 1. So on substituting these values, we will get the number of distribution bars equal to 21. Now we need to calculate the cutting length of main bar which is equal to LY plus 2 times development length plus 1 times inclined length minus 2 times 45 degree bend. LY as we know is 3000 mm. Development length is 40 times 12. Inclined length will be equal to 0 0.42 D while D is equal to slab thickness minus two side clear cover which is twice 25 minus dia bar which is 12 mm. So on substituting these values we will get D equal to 88 mm. Finally the cutting length of main bar will be equal to 3973 mm or simply 3.97 meter. Now the total length of main bars will be equal to cutting length of main bar into number of main bars which we have already calculated as 28. So total length of main bars will be equal to 111 meter. Now we need to calculate the weight of main bars which is equal to d square upon 162 into total length of main bars which is already calculated as 111 meter and the diameter of bars is 12 mm. So on substituting these values we will get the weight of main bars equal to 99 kg. Cutting length of distribution bars will be equal to LX plus twice development length plus 1 times inclined length minus 45 degree bend into 2. Inclined length is equal to 0 0.42 D while D is the slab thickness minus 2 side clear cover minus dia bar. So on substituting these values we will get D equal to 84 mm. 
LX is equal to 4000 mm. Development length is twice 40 into 8. And inclined length equal to 1 times 0 0.42 into D which is 84. And on simplifying further we will get cutting length of distribution bar equal to 4675 mm. Or simply 4.7 meter. Total length of distribution bars will be equal to cutting length of distribution bar which is 4.7 meter into number of distribution bars which is already calculated as 21. So the total length will be equal to 99 meter. And the weight of distribution bars will be equal to d square upon 162 into total length of distribution bars which is calculated as 99 meter. And d is the dia bar which is 8 mm. So the weight of distribution bars will be equal to 39 kg. Now we need to calculate the number of top bars required along both the spans. Number of top bars along LX side will be equal to LY upon 4 divided by spacing plus 1 into 2. These are taken twice since these are provided at both the ends. So on substituting these values we will get the number of top bars along LX side equal to 12. Now we need to calculate the length of top bar along LX span which is equal to clear span LX plus 2 times development length. LX is 4000 mm and development length 40 times D which is 40 into 8. And on simplifying further we will get the length of top bar along LX span equal to 4640 mm or 4.64 meter. The total length of top bars will be equal to length of top bar along LX span into number of top bars along LX which is calculated as 12 and the total will be 56 meter. Weight of top bars will be equal to d square upon 162 into total length of top bars along LX side. So on substituting these values we will get weight of top bars along LX equal to 22 kg. Similarly, the number of top bars along LY side will be equal to LX upon 4 divided by spacing plus 1 into 2. LX is equal to 4000 mm. Spacing is 150 mm. So on substituting these values, we will get the number of top bars along LY side equal to 16. The length of top bar along LY span will be equal to clear span LY plus 2 times development length. LY is 3000 mm. Development length is 40 into 12. So on substituting these values, we will get the length of top bar along LY span equal to 3960 mm or 3.96 meter. The total length of top bars along LY will be equal to length of top bar along LY which is calculated as 3.96 meter into number of top bars along LY which is 16. So the total will be 63.4 meter. Now we need to calculate the weight of top bars along LY. Which will be equal to D square upon 162 into length of top bars along LY. D is the dia bar which is 12 mm. So on substituting these values we will get the weight of top bars along LY span equal to 56 kg. So the total weight of steel required for this slab will be equal to summation of total weight of main bars which is 99, total weight of distribution bars which is 39 kg, total weight of top bars along LX side which is 22 kg and total weight of top bars along LY side which is 56 kg. So the total weight of steel will be equal to 216 kg which means the quantity of steel required for the construction of this two-way slab is 216 kg. The table of BBS will be prepared as we did in our previous lecture. The first column will give us the description of bars as we have provided main bars, distribution bars, top bars along LX and top bars along LY. The second column will give us the description of dia bars. The third column the number of bars required. Cutting length of each bar will be mentioned in fourth column. The fifth column will give us the unit weight of each bar. And 
The last column will give us the total quantity of steel required for each type of bar and it will be equal to the product of second, third and fourth column. Finally, the last row will give us the total quantity of steel required which will be equal to the summation of all the quantities of last column. So this was all for today. We'll catch you up soon. Thank you.